Hi friends, Kamesh here. So today I'm going to cover how we can successfully purchase mobile phones in flash sale. Flash sale these days have become very common. Companies are following this practice to make their products popular by selling them in limited quantities in flash sale so that the hype is created and people think that this is a product to go for, right? Irrespective of whether it's good or not. But Eureka, as I have read on websites and the reviews, Eureka is worth the price. So I'm going to tell you how you can quickly purchase this phone. So for new users, what you need to do, Amazon.in, you have to go to slash YU and register for the sale. If you are not registered, you won't be able to purchase the phone. Now, I have clicked on subscribe. Here it is coming as unsubscribe because I have already subscribed. Otherwise, a subscribe button will come. I can check whether I have successfully subscribed or not by clicking on your email subscriptions. As you can see, I am eligible for the purchase on March 19, 2015. Now, going back, how to successfully purchase. Now, on the sale day, when you will go to Amazon.in slash YU, not see this page which is for subscription you will see a page which is coming with a countdown timer now i would advise you that you go at least 30 minutes or 20 minutes before the sale is going to start that you go that there at 140 or 130 right so i have taken the screenshot from today's sale this is how the page with the countdown timer looks like and after the countdown timer reaches double zero double zero double zero the add to cart button comes. The requirement here is to click the add to cart button as soon as possible, sooner than others do, so that the product gets added to our cart it, before it goes out of stock, right? So I am remove. I am showing you how to do so with a tool so that there is no dependency of clicking it manually. Now, this is the trick. You log in with your user ID, right? Now, reduce the size of the window. Duplicate the tab, drag it out, again duplicate, drag it out, again duplicate and drag it out. So what I have done here is with the same user ID, I have four different sessions. In each session, we will be seeing the countdown, countdown timer running, right? Here, instead of this black screen, this screen is going to come, okay? Now... Assume it like this. This is going to look like this, right? On all four different screens. Now, after it reaches double zero, double zero, double zero, the add to cart button, as I have shown here in this page, will is going to appear, right? So what do I need to do? I need to make sure that when the windows appear like this, let me restore all windows one by one quickly. Okay, so when the add to cart button comes on this page like this, right? I need to click it very quickly. So I need to make, I need to understand that where will be the cursor position, whether it will appear, uh, the add to cart button will come where 8999 is written, whether it will come where has and written, where fresh has written. So I need to know the position of the add to cart button so that I can set the cursor position accordingly. So it's very simple, it's very easy. If you will refer to this, these two screenshots are aligned. When you will see the countdown timer, just six centimeters below here, you can see the cursor position, the six centimeters below it is going to come, right? So you can assume it like this. If the countdown timer is coming here, right, you need to fix your position here for the add to cart button. I hope I'm able to make it clear because since I do not have that add to cart button ready in front of me, I'm trying to show it by dragging the paintbrush window. So this is the software, multiple mouse clicker by murgi.com. I'm going to attach the exe file in the description. So don't worry, you can use it. Now, how to take the, how to fix the cursor position, let's say, uh, this 8999, which I have highlighted right now, is, six, is, and, uh, is the countdown add to, is the add to cart button and where has is written, the countdown timer is coming right now here. So I will take, I will assume that uh, the countdown timer is at has 
and 6 cm exactly below this, I will keep my mouse and press F6. Once I press F6, this multi uh, software gets activated and I will choose click 1. So you will see the click 1 coordinates has changed. So my screen was at 238 at x-axis and 309 at y-axis. Similarly, I will take I will take my mouse here and press F6 again. Now I will choose click 2. After I will do OK, just see the 675 coordinate will change. It has changed to 733 and let's assume it is going to come, the add to cart button is going to come here. I will again press 6, click 3. Similarly, I do for click 4. I will set the number of clicks to 1000 and the delay in millisecond to 1. Now, what I have done here is, just to explain you again, I have set the cursor position where I know the add to cart button is going to appear when the countdown timer is running, right? And as soon as the countdown timer is going to reach double zero, double zero, double zero, I'll just click start clicking button. It will automatically start clicking the add to cart button thousand times. It will click the add to cart button thousand times. So even if you think that once it did not get clicked properly, it will keep on clicking because I have seen, I have seen it myself today that sometimes in Amazon, you have to click add to cart button twice for buying the Eureka phone. So by doing this, you make sure that even if in the first click it is not happening, in the, it clicks automatically second time. And then by using this method, I can assure you that you are going to get your Eureka phone. And you, are, you can use the same method in the Redmi 2S sale as well. You just need to make sure that you have to figure out where the add to cart button is going to appear. Again, I am here I am clearly highlighting that it is going to appear 6 centimeters below the countdown timer. I hope this was helpful and you will be able to buy your Eureka phone and you don't have to be dependent on any script. It is a very simple method. I will attach the exe file in the description. Do let me know if, if it was helpful. Thanks.